is it? Well, it's a problem with the C57 gene. Okay? I have worked for 20 plus years in biotech with genes and enzymes. The C57 gene codes for C57M reductase. Now, I learned about these in grade school from my dad, but I did not realize the importance of them till I joined Toastmasters. Okay? What does this do? The long name for it is concise. Five to seven minutes. <laughs> <laughs> It's required in your brain to, in order to produce a succinct and excellent presentation that is five to seven minutes long. <laughs> when I joined Toastmasters, Trey alluded to the fact that I was a longtime intern. It took me a while to join, but it wasn't because I was afraid of public speaking or getting up here and talking in front of people. Said I've been a scientist for over 20 years. Put me behind my lecture, give me my PowerPoint and my uh, laser pointer, and I can talk easily for an hour. That's usually required, probably several hours. <laughs> Ask me to do something concise in five to seven minutes, I'm hopeless. <laughs> As a scientist, I never had to pick a topic. They were given to me. It was about my work. My problem as a scientist was that I didn't speak in a monotone, like a good percent of the scientists do. <laughs> Why is that a problem? Well, if you speak in a monotone, people's eyes glaze over, and they fade out. They don't notice math mistakes, <laughs> like one-fourth squared equal to one-eighth instead of one-sixteenth. <laughs> Worse, if they're awake, they might find errors in your logic or your experiments. They don't care about the presentation. Of course, from the other side, sitting out there having to listen to, listening to monotone presentations did get hard. Joe was very challenged. Joe didn't know what a sentence was. <laughs> Joe stood there with his data up there, rubbed his beard. I think it's toothpaste. But nobody ever found problems with his logic. He probably had a brain somewhere in the Epigy, we don't know where, the syzygy, did I get it pronounced right? Of his planets were definitely not lined up. But Dan was worse. Dan's presentations needed to be videoed. Dan needed to see that as a male, you do not stroke yourself <laughs> while you're giving a presentation. <laughs> It's better done in a very private place. <laughs> when I came to the first Toastmaster meeting, I couldn't believe I was doing it. I feared I must be really desperate for something to do. Was I really coming to listen to people afraid of public speaking, possibly drone on for hours and hours and hours? Needless to say, I was pleasantly surprised about what Toastmasters is about. Part of my problem with the C57 gene and my lack of the C57M reductase is picking a topic. I have lots of topics I can talk on, but would you please give me 20 minutes? There's nothing I can talk about intelligently for just five. I have to have 20. I should have understood about this gene years ago. My dad suffered from it severely. His condition was so bad, he was so lacking in the enzyme, that you were desperate 
if you went to him for homework help. A simple question, I was in sixth grade, something to do with the depression. Three hours later, after hearing about stock markets and margins and margin calls and margin pulls and uh, bank failures and I don't even know what all else, I was totally confused and terrified he would figure that out. And I'd never get to go to bed and care about homework anymore at that point in time. Even worse was if he decided he was going to pull the information out of you by deductive thinking. I just shuddered at the thought of asking him for help on that. It is hereditary. I have a kid with the same problem. I had to tell my four-year-old daughter it, not to believe everything her older brother told her because he had to put in all the details. We had to teach him the word concise at four years old. He had to put in all of the details. The problem was any ones he didn't know, he was quite willing to make up. <laughs> to, uh, Toastmasters is good for the gene function. It increases the enzyme. Think of like insulin that is increased when you eat sugar. I think I'm improving. My son just still drastically needs help. Kids tend to listen to other adults better than their parents. So I would love you guys to get his email from me and email him and tell him that the help for his gene problem is Toastmasters and he needs to join. It would also help his umitis problem, which is even worse than mine. speeches that run in short time frames, the same excellent speeches are rare, or there would be more of them, and Lincoln's Gettysburg Address would not be so well known. Hopefully, with the help of all you guys, someday I may share his talent. <laughs> <laughs>